Building a website from scratch can be time consuming and a hassle for non-designers or when time is just a little bit tight. And sometimes you simply don't have the time or the design inspiration to sit down and go through font combinations, color schemes or design concepts and you just simply need a great starting point that not only looks good but is also already optimized for responsiveness. Now, this is where a tool like the Astro Starter Sites plugin comes in very handy. Now, the Astro Starter Sites is a library full of professionally designed websites that you can use as a complete site or simply pick and choose the individual pages that you want to use. Now, all of the designs are created by professional designers who've undertaken all of the required market research so that you can concentrate on getting everything online as quickly as possible. Now, before we move on, let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Paul C and I'm here today working with Brainstorm Force to bring you an introduction to using the Astra Starter Sites plugin and ultimately how to get the most from it. If you'd like to be kept up to date with all of the new releases, please be sure to click on that subscribe button and smash the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, so now that we've got that covered, let's take a look at the Astra Starter Sites plugin, how it works on importing a complete site template. Now to start working with the Astra Starter websites, we need to just simply install the plugin. To do that, we're going to come over into plugins and we're going to say add new. And from there, we're going to just search for Astra Starter Sites. And once we've done that, we're going to click install now, let that install. And once that's finished installing, we'll activate it and then we can access those templates. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say C library and that's gonna take us over into the library module. Now the first thing it's gonna ask us is what page builder are you going to be using? And this is one of those things that makes the whole process of working with Astra Starter Sites really simple. So if you like to use Elementor, Beaver Builder or Brizzy as your page builder of choice, you're covered. If you prefer just to use Gutenberg, that's part of the normal WordPress, you're also covered. So all we need to do is select which page builder we want to use for this specific website. I'm going to choose Elementor, but you can choose any of the four options. We'll click on that and that will then take us over and show us the different templates that we have available. Now, you'll notice a couple of things. First of all, if we take a look, some of the different templates have the text agency in the top right hand corner. Any way you see that, you have to have the agency license, even if it's the small agency license. This will then give you access across the board to every single template, whether that's an individual page template or the entire site templates. Anything where you don't see that, they are completely free and available to you, no matter what version you're using. So you can see we have quite a range of different types of sites. So let's take, for example, this first option. If we click on that, and open it up, you can see we get a preview on the left hand side. On the right hand side, we see a selection of the different page types that we can pull in. So this is the beauty of working with this is that we can pull in the entire site or we can pick and choose templates, pages, individual items like that. So we get full control over what we want to import. All we need to do is click on any of these and we'll see a preview then on the left hand side. If you want to see this in full view outside of this preview area, we can come down and say preview. So we'll click on that. That will open up a new tab and we can now see all of the template files for this entire website. So you can see we have all the pages there for the home page. We can jump over to the about page, the services page. So we can take a look at what this looks like before we even commit to installing or using this particular template or individual page template. So that's super simple. We've also got the options then to import the complete site. So we can pull in every single part of this site and we'll basically duplicate what you can see on this demonstration site with all these different pages and everything in place. Or we can pick and choose which individual page we want to pull in and install. All we need to do is choose either import complete site or import about template. Or we can click on projects, for example, and you can see it changes now to import projects template. So it's really easy to pick and choose what you want. If you want to jump back and take a look at another template, we can simply click on the arrow to go back to layout and that'll take us back in and we can choose a different template. So let's take a look at this organic store option. Click and again, we have the same options. We can see a preview on the left hand side. We can see the home page, the about page, the contact page. We can open that up and take a look at the entire site if we want to. Or we can come back in and choose any of these different pages and choose to either import the complete site 
or just import the selected page. You can also come up to the top now and you can search and select from there. So you can see at the moment it says all, but we can come in and we can choose the options for business, other, blog, e-commerce. We can also take a look at the free options or the agency options. So if you only have the free version, you may want to filter this down to only select any of the free options. So you can see it's very simple to go through and search for anything. So we may want to take a look at all the e-commerce sites and you can see now we can see all the e-commerce sites. We may only want to see the free options inside there and you can see now we're only seeing the free options. So it's really intuitive on how we work. The other things we have, if we kind of like a couple of different options, we can favorite these by clicking on the little heart icon. So we can say we like the look of this organic store. We'll click on the heart icon. And then if we want to filter those, we can click on the heart at the top and that will show us any of the ones we favorited. We can refresh this if we want to. So that will sync the library to make sure that if there are any new additions since the last time you looked and installed this, well, you'll make sure you have the most up-to-date versions available. So let's come back and take a look at all of these options again. Now, the final thing we have in the top right-hand corner is where it says Elementor currently. And this just means that we're taking a look at the templates that work with Elementor. Let's just say, for example, we've changed our mind and we want to use Brizzy this time. Well, we can come down, we can click on Brizzy, and we can now see the templates that are associated with that page builder instead of Elemental. And all of the same options are available. We can favorite something, we can search for something, or we can filter things based upon our particular criteria, and we can heart things, and we can take a look at the ones we've hearted as well. So it's really easy to navigate around and see what templates are on offer, which ones are agency, which ones are free, favorite things, and so on. So it's really simple. So now that we've seen all the different options, let's pick a design that I'm going to use for the basis of installing and setting everything up. So I kind of like the look of this Simply Natural e-commerce store. So this is going to be used in WooCommerce. I kind of like the look of that. I'm going to import the entire site, not just an individual page. So I click to open it up. We can take a look, check out the different pages. And like I say, if we want to, we can preview this to make sure we were happy with the design. Now we're ready to import the entire site. Now, before we do import it, it's worth noting at this point is it's highly recommended whenever you use the Astro Starter Sites plugin and you want to install a design, especially if you're working with importing the entire site, it's always worthwhile making sure you do this with a completely clean, fresh copy of WordPress to make sure you don't have any problems, you don't have plugins or old themes that you don't need in there. You're starting with a nice, clean, fresh slate. If that isn't the case, I would definitely recommend taking a look at WP Reset, even the free version. This makes it incredibly simple to just reset WordPress to a nice, clean, fresh install, get rid of all of that excess that we don't need, and then we'll be ready to take a look at installing. So I'm assuming that we are at a point where you've got a nice, clean, fresh copy of WordPress, and you're ready now to install everything. Okay, so let's take a look now at installing Simply Natural. I'm going to import the entire site, like I've already said. So all I need to do is come down and say, import complete site. Now select that option. And this is going to ask me a couple of different things about what do I want to do when I install this? You can see it says your selected website is being imported. And it then gives us a selection of checkboxes. What we can do is if we're testing various different sort of designs and templates out, we may want to delete any previously installed or imported template. We'll come back to that a little later and I'll show you how that works. But everything else is fairly self-explanatory. Install and activate the Astra theme. So we obviously want to do that because it's an Astra starter site. Import the customizer settings. This is going to import all the settings to do with this specific design to make sure it matches exactly what you've seen on the demonstration site. Import the Elementor Style Kit. Now, if you've never used style kits with Elementor, these are basically ways of setting up global styling for things like fonts, colors, all those kinds of useful things. And it is definitely the preferred way of setting up any theme when it comes to working with Elementor. So it's good to see this is installed and this is good to see it's going to be set up as part of the whole process. Importing the widgets, again, make sure that we're importing everything to make sure that our starting point looks exactly the same as our demonstration site did. Obviously, we want to install the required plugins to make sure that all those functions are inbuilt into the design that we're going to start with. And finally, import content. 
It's up to you if you want to import the content. This could be something you like the design, but you want to start with just the key elements and not require the content. You want to put your own content in. It's up to you, but you can check or uncheck any of these options as you see fit. We checked everything we want, so all I'm going to do is hit import. This is now going to give us a countdown to exactly what's happening. Okay, so that's the import finished. Everything is now done. So we click on view site. That will take us over to our site and we'll see this now looks exactly the same as that demonstration site that we took a look at first of all. Everything is in place, everything is styled, all of the plugins are imported and all of the settings and content are brought in as well. So we now have a great starting point which we can go in, fine tune, change those images, change the text, customize everything the way we want using our favorite page builder to get a site that looks exactly as we want using a starting point through Astra Starter Sites. Now the design has been imported, it's worth noting that even though the images included should be free to use and royalty free, Brainstorm Force cannot take any responsibility for any copyright issues that may arise. So I'd recommend replacing them with your own after importing the design to avoid any potential problems. When you're ready to change those images, it's made super easy if you don't have access to your own images, we can just use Pixabay images. And the nice thing is with Astra Starter Sites, that's been integrated into the whole platform. So let me just give you a quick example using Elemental. We're gonna change this hero image. So what I'm gonna do is choose the image that I want. I'm gonna click on there. You can see we have the normal upload files and media library. We also have a third tab called free images from Pixabay. So I could just search for cactus. And once we've done that, we'll find an image that we think is going to be relevant to what we want to do. I'll choose this option and then I'll just choose save and insert and we'll let that go in. And you can see it is as simple as that. We've now changed that image over using a royalty free image, the stock free image directly from Pixabay. Obviously, if you wanted to use your own images from anywhere else, you can do that. Now that we've seen how easy it is to install a starter site, let's take a quick look at how we can change that starter site to a different design. To do that, we're gonna to head to appearance and we're gonna come down and choose the option for starter templates. And that'll take us back into the preview section. So we can now preview any of those design starter templates again. This time, let's just choose something completely different with a different page builder. So we're gonna come up, change this over to Brizzy. And from there, we'll take a look at the Brizzy templates and we'll filter this down to show only the free options. So now we can see exactly what we're working with. We're gonna find a template that I like the look of. Let's just say, for example, this option. So we're gonna say, we're gonna click on this. I like the look of that. And we're gonna say, let's import the complete site again. So we're gonna import that. And you see this will bring up the same box as we had before with some slightly different options. However, this time, because we're importing it over the top of a previous install, we want to make sure we choose the option to say delete previously imported site. First of all, it's going to make a backup of our customizer settings in the directory that's listed, but it's also going to delete all of the data from the previous import. Apart from that, we're going to leave all of the other options exactly as they were. We we'll say import, and we're going to let that do its job, go through, Take away all the old files and install everything clean and fresh and new. And there we go, that is now imported successfully. So let's just view the site again so we can see exactly what this all looks like. And there we go, we now have a great looking starter site, this time all built with the Brizzy page builder instead of Elemental. So the final thing I want to demonstrate is how you can use this to install just a single page inside the Elemental editor. To do that, we're just going to open up Elemental and from there, we're going to insert a new template. Now you can see we have an extra icon available to us, which is the Astra Starter Sites template icon. Which we're going to do is click on that. And again, you can see the same thing opens up. We can now see all those different designs, again, broken down based upon whether they're agency or free. And also we can filter these out based upon the options in the top left hand corner, or we can search on the top right hand corner. So let's just say we want to find a design we want to work with. So we're going to just choose the free options again so we can see those. I'm going to say, let's take a look at this, this cosmetics store option. So we'll click to open that up. And this time what we're seeing is all the individual pages that are available to us. 
So the home, testimonials, about, and so on. Let's choose the home page. We're going to click on that as an option, take a look at it, and you can see it shows us exactly what's inside there. If we want to choose a different design, we can just simply step back out of this, come back up, and take a look at something different. So let's just say for this example, I don't want to use something that's e-commerce because I'm not going to be selling anything. I just want a simple, straightforward page. So we're going to choose this mountain option. We click open that up. I like the look of the home page, so I'm going to click on that. I like the look of that and we can say I want to import this template or I can save the template. We're going to choose the option to import it. So we're going to let that do its job, which is going to download all those assets, create the page layout for us. And while we're doing that, it's worth noting that when you use this option, depending upon how you've configured things inside the Elemental Editor, the page you import may not 100% resemble exactly what you're seeing on the preview window because the styles that are set up inside Elemental may override the styling that's actually been shown in the demonstration. So it's worth bearing that in mind, but all these things are very easy to change. You can change them based upon the individual widget that you're working with, and you can style things by just selecting that widget inside the Elemental Editor, jump over to the Style section, and you can edit the typography directly inside there. Or if you're using theme styles, you can simply edit them from there. So we can come into the theme style option, choose that, and then we can just set up any of the different options we want to to make sure this is configured exactly how we like it. So that's just one thing to bear in mind that you may not see exactly what you saw in that preview. But this is how easy it is to pull in individual page templates and then use those as the basis for all of your designs. That's how you can take advantage of any or all of those professionally designed starter sites that are included in the Astro Starter Sites plugin. If you found this video interesting and would like to find out more, all of the applicable links are included in the description below so you can check those out there. If you have any feedback or questions, please drop those in the comment section below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are added. My name has been Paul C and until next time, take care.